Welcome to Akuma America. We're here today to talk about preventive maintenance, and we want to better help you protect your investment, make your machine tool last a lifetime, and produce performance parts. So let's look a little bit deeper at the functionality that comes on your OSP control that may be able to help you track your daily inspection items along with periodical maintenance items. So if you have an updated OSP control, whether it is a P300 and or newer, you have what we call OSP Suite. Within OSP Suite lies the functionality of maintenance monitor that simply does that. It helps you track maintenance on the control of your specific machine tool, no matter what category of machine tool that may be. So, as we dig into the control, if you go to your home screen, you see the guy with holding the old jug, you can open that particular software and it specifically shows you your periodical maintenance items and daily inspection items. So while we're on the control, let's start with what you'll do on the frequency of a daily basis. So every day, OCJ or Akuma suggests that you perform these maintenance items to keep your machine tool in tip top shape. As you can see, they're already preset. It has an inspection type, whether it is just a pressure check, whether it is uh, a cleaning, whether it is a level check, whether you need to remove a component and replace it. Uh, but those are your daily inspection items that need to be addressed and you can simply with one click of the button execute that you've done that daily inspection. So one step further we want to look at periodical maintenance items. These are items that need to be performed on some frequency and that frequency may differ. It could be every 100 hours, it could be every 400 hours, it could be every 4,000 hours, but it specifically lists what that periodical maintenance item is, the type of work that's associated with that line item, where you are as you approach the interval, where that line item needs to be addressed, and how many remaining hours you have until you need to make sure that that action has been performed so you don't run into a situation that could possibly make your machine tool go down. Some great functionality on OSP Suite Maintenance Monitor is you can actually go into the control and add customized maintenance line items for periodical maintenance depending on the way that you maintenance your machine and or the part or application that you're cutting. So for example, we have one preset in this control and I'll show you how to make that work. So you simply, in Maintenance Monitor, go into Change Mode. You will start Change Mode by clicking OK. One thing to remember is Akuma, or OCJ, preloads periodical maintenance line items 0 through 1000. So when you start the sequence number for a customized line item, you need to start at sequence number 1001. So if you scroll down through all of the preloaded items to the very last line, you can see, for example, we preloaded one starting with sequence number 1001. You can put what that line item is by adding a quick summary or description. In this particular case, we put that we wanted to wash down the table, and we want to be reminded and notified of that at the interval that we decide to select in the control. So the type of work this is, you get to input that. We selected that this work will be performed by the operator. On the progress line, this shows you how close or how far away from hitting that interval you are. In this particular circumstance, the line item that we loaded, we said that it needs to be performed every eight hours or what most manufacturing facilities would consider a complete shift. So you can measure the way that this count takes place in a number of different ways. So if you click on the scroll down number, you can see that you can count by power on, you can count when the machine is running, you can count those hours when the machine is cutting, you can count the hours when the spindle is turning, and you can also count those hours when axis movement is taking place. So you have a number of different ways that you can count the way that you get to that interval. In addition to that, you get to select the interval. So there's obviously a default interval in there, which is zero hours, but you can select what the interval should be for that particular line item. We also have two ways of notifying you that you're approaching that maintenance interval. You can have a notice with one set of alarm, or you can have a warning that, that is displayed by another alarm. So you can choose by toggling down whether you want a C alarm or a D alarm, 
And you can do that for both different areas, the notice and the warning. With that said, that's how you add a customized periodical maintenance line item to OSB Suite Maintenance Monitor to keep your machine in tip-top shape. Now that we've talked about the functionality of the OSP control and maintenance monitor, let's talk about the components that Akuma America suggests that you use for an annual PM cycle. So when it comes to your annual PM cycle, we've produced what we call the CARE Preventive Maintenance Kit. Keep in mind that CARE is an acronym that was initiated back in 1993 that stands for Constantly Available Resource Experts. With that customer service model in mind, We've produced this kit to help you keep your machine tool in perfect top shape. So the components that come in the kit for a machining center are gonna be two filter elements that go in the canisters on the back side of your machine that I'll show you in a second to make sure that you're getting the proper airflow and fluid flow through the old air mist system of your spindle. Second to that, we always recommend that you change the wafer filter that sits in your lubrication tank. We also always want that lubrication fluid to be clean, clear, and protecting in the way that it is designed. Other components that we recommend that you change are the springs that are associated with your coolant pin and collet fingers. One is gonna be the ring spring that goes around your collet fingers. The other is gonna be the linear spring that goes and keeps pressure on the coolant pin that protects the heartbeat of your machine tool. This coolant pin seals on the back side, and if this spring loses tension and that seal breaks loose, you can possibly cause damage, which will damage your spindle, lock your spindle up, and potentially cost you a lot of money. So now that we've talked about the specific components that are in the Care Preventive Maintenance Kit, let's talk about the different areas on the machine and where those components are located. So we mentioned that we're gonna focus on the mechanical, electrical, airflow, lubrication, and cooling systems. So let's take a walk around and look at exactly why it's important that you change this component and where you change this component. So on this skeleton Genos M machining center, you can see that we're looking right at the spindle. So inside of this spindle, that's where this coolant pin and this linear spring are located. There's also a ring spring that goes around the collet fingers that sit inside of this spindle. So what you would do is use a special tool, lock it down, take the assembly out, change the coolant pin, take the spring out, change the linear spring, change the ring spring around the collet fingers, and then reassemble. That way you know that you have a perfect seal with a new coolant pin and your spindle unit will be protected. We talked about the coolant pin and the importance to change it in the spindle. Obviously, there's many other mechanical items and components on this machine tool that need to be inspected for wear and clean. That will also take place on imperative components such as the ball screws, the augers, and things of that nature. As we focus on keeping the machine tool's electrical system in tip-top shape, one of the main places that we're gonna look on your machine tool is gonna be the electrical cabinet. And what we're gonna look for in this electrical cabinet is all of the OSP boards and drives. Make sure that they are clean and clear of contamination and debris. And also make sure that all of the cooling fans within the cabinet are clean of contamination and debris so that they have stabilized temperature, they don't overheat in the summertime, and everything can operate properly. So we talked a little bit about the mechanical aspects, the electrical aspects. Let's talk about the lubrication, the airflow, and the cooling system that's associated with the preventive maintenance schedule of this machine tool. In the lubrication tank, that's where the wafer filter that exists in the Care PM kit lives and needs to be changed. In addition to that, there's two filter elements and O-rings that go in the canisters on the back side of this machining center. This particular machining center is equipped with an oil air mist lubrication system that feeds the spindle, which is why it's so important and imperative that these elements are changed in a timely manner. In addition to that, we have the spindle chiller or the oil control unit on this particular machining center on the back side of the machine. This unit works in a similar fashion to an HVAC unit that's on your house. So it's practically a heat exchanger and that's what it's functioning as. It's important that the air that it takes in and exhaust can flow freely, which is why you wanna make sure there's no debris or contamination on any of those inlets or outlets. You also wanna make sure that the oil level is correct in this unit and that the oil is clean and clear 
and it's up to date and has been changed in a timely manner. Those are some, some things that you wanna check related to the lubrication, the airflow, and the cooling unit on this particular machine tool. So today we focused on preventive maintenance. We've talked about OSP suite, maintenance monitor, and the way you can track daily inspection items and periodical maintenance items. We've talked about care preventive maintenance kits and the components that are in those kits. We've also looked at those components in the different areas of the machine tool where they're located and things that you need to look at or be aware of when performing preventive maintenance.